Today I'm gonna to shoot a cinematic sequence of me opening a bottle of beer using nothing but my DJI Ronin S, my Sony a7 III and my smartphone to be able to control the Ronin. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. So the only plan that I have right now is that I know how the sequence is about to start. And that is going to be like me reaching for a bottle of beer and then throwing it up in the air. But after that, I have no clue. So I'm going to take you guys along on the thought process here as well, because I think it's going to be pretty cool if we manage to succeed. thinking like that the first shot and the finishing shot is gonna be basically the same. So instead of me picking up the bottle of beer, I'm gonna put it down as the last shot. And uh, just FYI, this is a non-alcoholic beer. So if I drink this, I can still drive home. So, you know, <laughs> I'm gonna try to get some uh, static shots off the bottles before we actually get to the moving parts and try to like capture all the different Ronin movements because that that will be really time consuming. Like that, that is gonna be a challenge for sure. So I'm gonna shoot this entire sequence in 120 frames per second. And the reason for that is because I have control over the lighting right now. So th these lights will not flicker even though we're shooting in NTSC mode. So as the main light for this shoot, I'm gonna use the Godox SL60 that I highly recommend. I use it for all my videos right now. And I'm gonna like put it at a hundred percent blast. And I've also put a like diffusion sheet on the um, reflector here so that the lighting fall off is way more soft. And then I have the fill light, which is the Aperture H528C. That is basically just filling in from this side. And I got this at full blast as well. And the lens that I'm gonna use is gonna be the Sony 24 millimeter F1.4 on my Sony a7 III. And then I have my DJI Ronin on a Manfrotto quick release plate on the Manfrotto 190X tripod and I will shoot an S-Log2. For the white balance, we're gonna shoot at 5,500 because both of these lights are set to that. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna get like some panning shots up like that and some detailed shots. So uh, let's see if we can get some shots. <laughs> I think we got it. The cool thing with the DJI Ronin is that you can control the movements when you go into the create in the DJI Ronin app. Then I'm gonna use the track function. Right now I've already set up four different waypoints. So if we try this out, it's gonna look like this. So I'm thinking that this shot is gonna be like me leaning in, grabbing the beer and then throwing up. And from there, we're basically just gonna like wing it and see what we can come up with. Let's see if we can like time this and get it exactly the way that we want. Ah, it's good. Okay, so I'm thinking that I'm gonna try to get a shot like under my hand, just like the one Daniel Schiffer did on the pizza. All right, so I got the Ronin set up for this shot. And the plan is that I'm basically just gonna like throw a bottle like this and grab it over the lens. And then we're gonna try to set manual focus and see if we can get this shot the way that I want it. Okay, so I'm gonna like move this light and put it like under here so that we get more exposure on the actual bottle. Maybe we're gonna like aim that straight up as well. Inevitable! <laughs> okay, let's be a little bit more careful. I 
I think we have one there. We totally got one. So now I'm thinking that we're gonna like get a shot straight from the front when I'm throwing the bottle again to see if we can like cut that in between and make it more interesting. So if I can time the Ronin so that it goes up and down when I'm throwing the bottle, then it's gonna look really cool when we can connect that with it in under a shot. I think it's gonna look really, really good. So let's see if we can have the first shot, like right here. Go to the second shot, it's gonna be somewhere in like there. I have no clue if this is gonna work. So three, two, one. Maybe we can get this. And go. Like this looks really, really good. Like insanely good for being shot with a Ronin that I control with my smartphone. So let's move on to the next one, which is me like reaching over for the bottle opener. That's gonna be like on my right side because I grabbed it with my left hand. So I only have this small bottle opener, so I can't like reach and grab for it, but I'm thinking like my hand is gonna be with the beer bottle like this, and then I'm gonna have this coming in, poof, like that. But I'm gonna do a sequence of my hand getting to the beer bottle, and then we're gonna do a close up when I'm actually opening up the bottle. Create track, okay. That's gonna be our center. Maybe we can like drag it up to like, like so, and then I can stand with it like that. The first is gonna be like over here. I think that, that is gonna look good. Alright, I'm really satisfied with the shot that we got. So now we're gonna get the shot of the cap flying away. And I'm thinking like, I'm gonna get a shot of it like, boof. So we got my right hand coming in with a little bit of movement and then like trying to open the cap. The shot that I wanna have after has to fit in with that. So I don't really know what kind of shot that we should have. Maybe we should like put the Ronin like in top down view and then open this up and then we can see the cap flying away. That is gonna look really good. So let's see if we can get it. So first things first, I need to open this. Ooh. Let's do it again. Cap on. Go. I think we got that shot. All right, so the bottle is open. Uh, the cap hopefully looked good. And now I'm thinking that we're gonna do a shot like with the Ronin panning up as I'm moving the bottle towards my mouth, having a few sips and then putting it down. So I don't know if this is gonna be like one take or if I'm gonna cut it in two because I wanna have the same kind of framing as we started out with, but with one bottle open. Try. Ooh, I think it looks really good. I'm really satisfied with the shot so far and it's gonna be really, really fun to edit this together. But here's the final result one more time. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video because this was more of an experiment to see if this was actually possible. But uh, you know, like the result is gonna speak for itself. So thanks so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, that'd be highly appreciated. And uh